Greetings, everybody. Let's get this thing started. Panda here, and welcome to another episode of Skip or Equip, a zombies game show featuring your favorite YouTubers. Let's get this thing started. Since Origins, we have seen the use of randomized reward drops through dig piles, pods, gondolas, and most recently through the harvesting of plants in Zetsubo no Shima. The object of the game is to see whether or not our guest will skip or equip the weapon randomly rewarded to them. Along the way, they'll give you tips and tricks for surviving the zombies horde, and at the end of the game, both our guests and the studio audience will win the only prize that matters, good vibes and a lifetime supply of warm and fuzzies. Because let's be serious, guys, I'm broke. Let's meet today's guest. His favorite pack-a-punched weapon is the upgraded DSR, the Dead Specimen Reactor 5000. His favorite map is Mob of the Dead, and he has a growing YouTube channel with over 11,000 subscribers. And while balancing gaming, school, and his growing YouTube channel, he still finds the time to give back to the community and volunteer. Welcome to the show, Lights! How's it going today? Yo, Panda, what's going on? Thank you so much for having me on today. I am doing absolutely fantastic today. What about you? How, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. So glad to have you here on the show today. Let's harvest our plant and see what weapon we'll be talking about today. Oh, baby, it's the Brecci or the Brecci if you want to say it with an authentic Italian accent. Let's take a chance and glance at the stats for the 205 Brecky. The Brecky is a semi-automatic shotgun with 12 in the clip and 108 in the reserve. The rate of fire is 212 rounds per minute. It is an extremely powerful shotgun, surprisingly more powerful than the community favorite, the Haymaker, but with a smaller ammo count than its rival. In Zetsubo no Shima, it is available from both the box and from the plants, and pack-a-punched, it becomes the stellar Screech. So what do you think, Lights? Is the Brecky your bay or gnaw? Oh, without a doubt, the Brecky is my bay. The Brecky, even at low rounds, it may not be as good of a point gun, but if you grab something off the wall to accompany this, the Brecky can absolutely destroy thrashers. It can take out hordes at low rounds. And then when you upgrade it, this thing is an absolute monster. The Brecky is one of my go-to backup weapons in all zombie maps, and especially Zetsubo no Shima, where the thrashers and spiders are kind of a pain if you don't have jug, if you are trying to run around and get parts in those early rounds, it's an absolute must-have weapon. So if I pull the Brecky from a plant, there is no doubt that I am equipping this. I'm definitely going to agree with you there, Lights. Man, when I got the Brecky for the first time out of the plant, I was so pumped. It was the perfect weapon. Zetsubo no Shima is such close quarters, you have to have a weapon that's going to clear the zombies out of your way. And man, does the Brecky do that. As you guys heard during the stats portion of this, the Brecky is actually the most powerful shotgun that we have in Black Ops 3, especially after the buff that happened around the time of Darius and Draka. This thing is a complete beast. If you guys are having trouble with Zetsubo no Shima, then definitely, definitely, definitely pick up the Brecky. You don't even have to aim down the sight. Just hip fire this bad boy, and the zombies are going to fall left and right. And once you pack a punch it and it becomes a stellar screech, oh my god, it looks so beautiful. The zombies actually implode every time you kill one of them. And that's how you know a weapon is powerful, man. This thing is perfect. This is the bread and butter. Lights, I want to thank you so much for stopping by the show today. Is there anything else you would like to share with the audience? First of all, Panda, I want to thank you personally for having me on. It was truly an honor to be asked to join you in this series. I think it's an awesome series. So if you're not subbed to Panda at this point, you probably should. And the last thing I have to say for the audience is to keep those positive vibes and slay zombies. Because to be honest, what's better than slaying zombies and being positive?
Lights, I want to thank you so much for coming on the show, and I want to thank you guys for viewing this. If you did enjoy, please, please leave a like just so I could see how you guys are feeling and digging on this. Let us know down in the comment section below, guys, if you agree with us and you would equip the brekkie. And if you do disagree, go ahead and comment down below, too, and let us know why you guys would actually skip on the brekkie. Are there any specific YouTubers you would like to see on the next episode of Skip or Equip a Zombies Game Show? Let me know down in the comments below, or go ahead and head over to Twitter, hit me up there, YT Panda TV. Also, all of Light's information is down below in description, and there also will be an annotation on screen now. Uh, with, his, with a link to his page. Go ahead and subscribe and help him build up his community. Go follow him on Twitter as well. Hit up the dude lights. He's the man. I appreciate you so much for being on the show. And on that note, guys, I'm out of here. I'm sending you good vibes. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time on another episode of Skip or Equip. Equip.